Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop, see what we got there. Today's Tuesday, so we should get an update. Then, we're going to take a look at the daily and weekly challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score and start grinding season three because it's here. And we're going to take a look at the daily ops, see who we're going to be facing, uh, what's the type of the enemy we're going to be dealing with today. So, let's not waste time and jump right into it. All right, so let's begin with the atomic shop free, huh? Let me guess, player icon. <laughs> okay, so holiday kickoff. We still got the lobby shelter. Uh, as far as uh, the patch notes say, this is free for Fallout first, but it, you need to acquire it if you do not have Fallout first. Uh, Santa sleigh power armor bundle. Oh, look at that! The original cost is here. Hey, hey, hey! What's up? Okay, cool. Well, this is a way better power armor from the previous power armor that we had the Happy New Year one. Uh, the one that was like with bulbs and stuff. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Because I've reviewed so many uh, Atomic Shop items. It's just crazy. And we got the uh, S Majestic Santa Throne. Cool. Looking good. Then we got, what is that? Ah, stocking set. Okay. And a rotating color wheel lamp. Wow. Well, I'm not going to be paying 1500 I would love to get this. I would be okay with this. I'm okay with this. <laughs> but 1500 mm, no. 1,200 for the power armor? The hell? Five hundred, and that's gonna be a thousand just for if I want to buy those things separately. I think I'll just get it separately. Oh, Voltec refrigerator. Oh, that's a cool fridge. Clean. Should be good for the shelters, but I don't know who uses food nowadays now that we don't have the negative buffs and stuff like that. I, I even stopped using the uh, cranberries and all that buff foods because I just can't be bothered grinding the components. I just do my thing, just run around. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. <laughs> I could never pronounce that, man. Christmas trees, hey, for 350. What up? No, thank you. Well, actually, 50% discount. I'll think about it. All right, shelters. I have already reviewed this one last Tuesday, and we got more shelters, lunch boxes. We have reviewed that. Then, then, this thing is broken, and I don't remember anywhere being said that it has been fixed. Then we got camp favorites. Oh, look at that. So they bought it. They made it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now it gives us a discount. But why is it 387 discount? Oh, there's a lot of items included in this bundle, I guess. That's why. Okay, I mean, it's cool that it's working. I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Alright. The housing kit, there's a whole bunch of reviews for this one. Me, myself, I didn't do a before you buy for this one. But if you want to take a look at it, I, to be honest, I didn't really use it. The floors, okay. This is a cool pit, by the way. Really nice. But it goes with the bundle where that uh, thing is included. But now, since we have this uh, feature where you can change your mind and buy the bundle and still save atoms, actually, that's pretty cool. So, I don't know, but I would recommend this item with or without the bundle. This plant is one of my favorite plants, to be honest, because it's big, big, shiny, like reddish. It's actually pretty dope. The Rustic Windmill. I tried using ones, but it was bugged back in the day. I'm not sure if it's been fixed. 
Uh, color lights. All right. I'm not gonna grab those. We'll see. Thirty percent discount. Special. Oh, the Santa Claus station is back again, free. It's not a player icon, but those who already got this thing for free last year are not gonna get it. Well, I'll grab it. Thank you. All right, now I'm definitely getting the Santa Claus suit. 100%. I already made a review for that. I owned it on PC. Uh, and I actually wanted just for the beard. Alright, fine, whatever. I'll, I'll grab the backpack too. Uh, this is a, a backpack as well. I'm not going to get it. It's bulky and like whatever. The elf outfit? Nah, I don't want it. Candy claws paint? <laughs> Uh, holiday tree, 30% discount. Well, I don't know. It's just a tree. You can't even put anything. Although there are some YouTubers who made some specific light, uh, like, kind of like, a way to put something on top of this tree. So we can't decor it. I was hoping when I was buying this back in the day on PC that you kind of like interact with it. And you like, you know, take a holiday present. Like as if you're, as if it's like a display case, and you put it in there and it pops up, you know, and starts hanging out. That would be cool. But in reality, this is just a standing tree, and that's it. I'm not buying it again because I had it on PC and I was pretty much disappointed. A 50% discount at Player Icon, no thank you. And a survival, a uh, holiday survival tent is back. It's uh, free for follow first uh, users. So I believe this is it. Yeah, there will be no daily resets in the special tab because we got them all up front and they will last for the entire week. There's a couple of things I'll think about before buying. Uh, cool section for bundles. You can see the bundles. That's cool. Follow first. Well, I would also recommend you to kind of like skip through all the appeal skin sections, stuff like that, because uh, since I own a lot of items uh, and sometimes they don't put it on the featured list, I might miss out on something. So I would highly recommend to kind of go through it. Uh, to be honest with the update, could be better. Like, could be better because Christmas is on its way, New Year's is on its way, it's like less than two weeks. You should have like, if, if you have like cool new stuff, provide it up front so we players have time to build our new camps using the new materials. Uh, because I'm sure they will deliver some more new Christmas stuff. I'm sure it's going to be something next Tuesday. And I'm sure it's going to be something next next Tuesday, you know. But the time for us to build those things is limited. Because, you know, you got to prepare for Christmas. You got to go buy presents and stuff like that. You got to do, like, uh, home stuff. You don't have time to build a new camp with, with new stuff. So that's kind of my point. If you, like, for next year... How about delivering this like a month before or give a big sale on the first Tuesday of December with a whole bunch of new stuff, old stuff, so we can like, ooh, take, do a little bit of shopping. That's my suggestion, recommendation, Bethesda. Holding up things isn't a good move. Well, okay. Uh, let's go and see, uh, by the way, as I said, the scoreboard. Season 3 is here. Oh. Historical. Set your own. Whatever. Alright, so we're here. And we gotta start the grind again. Uh huh, so they made this little update. So if you're a follow first, you will get some specific additional rewards on top of this. I'm gonna make a separate review. Uh, once I'm done with this video in more details for this specific, otherwise this uh, video is going to turn out to be very long. Also, there's like one more thing I'd like to take a look at because I wanted to kind of like deliver the video when they released it on the website, but the website didn't have all the stages. So, for example, they would show all the rewards, but then you go like you want to see rewards from 50 to 60, you see only from 50 to 55, but no no 56, no 57, and so on. You click on the other one, you're missing half of it. But anyway. <clears throat> So that video is going to go live in a couple of hours. 
build up a floor, a wall decor, and a shelter. Straight to the point, build an item or sell an item from another player. Also pretty straightforward. Complete a daily operation, straightforward. Complete an event, straightforward. This will get triggered uh, as soon as you're done with five dailies. Kill a Deathclaw. Uh, for those who are new, the lowest level Deathclaws you can find in this game, even though they're scaling to your level, is the Deathclaw Island. So it's really actually not very far away from Vault 76, so that's your best uh, go-to. For the Veterans player, I'm pretty sure you all know where all those death claws are. <laughs> so I'm not going to cover all the other locations. Uh, level up one time, pretty straightforward. Deploy a camp in Nuclear Winter, pretty straightforward. Actually, to be honest, you don't even really have to play the entire match. What you got to do, go in the lobby, uh, spawn in somewhere far away from the buildings. Uh, once you're spawned in, deploy the camp and you can leave if you don't want to play Nuclear Winter. Because Nuclear Winter is all about like uh, hiding the bush instead of going and actually killing things. Because you don't get a lot of XP to, for killing players or those AI monsters or whatever. Alright, so weekly challenges. Uh, claim a workshop five times. Cool, collect the 1,500 caps pretty straightforward uh, complete daily operations five time okay complete a day a gold star daily challenge one time so that will be triggered automatically as soon as you do your daily uh, complete an event actually I'm gonna do that right now because I'm gonna show you the last boss fight of my daily ops and my rewards which haven't been nice because I've been playing this game on daily basis doing the daily ops once a day and doing my daily stuff and moving on to cyberpunk or uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and since the start of the new DLC, I, all I got is one like arm from the uh, Brotherhood of Steel armor, some uh, some blade that I don't need because I'm not no melee, melee build. And that's it. Nothing else. Everything else is duplicates. Well, not counting the the new hazmat suit. I actually got it twice. Okay, uh, complete an event 10 times, cool, kill a legendary enemy 10 times, level up 3 times, uh, repeatable uh, gain XP, okay, cool, repair armor and weapons, okay, cool, and, oh, and power armor, they added that, uh, cool, and visit your shelter, <laughs> oh my god, are you serious, oh, sweet, <laughs> that, that is so dope, so you'll go to do your daily, you'll get this triggered automatically. Thank you, Bethesda. That that's that's very generous, and I mean it. <laughs> All right, so daily ops. What we gotta do for daily ops? Uh, Vault ninety four, my favorite. Robots, my favorite. And exploding death. Okay, whatever. It's actually pretty dope because maybe I could do some ammo farming to prepare for the uh, uh, the holiday scorched, which I believe is coming out this Thursday on the seventeenth. But anyway, let me go and hit that daily op. There we go, final boss. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Six minutes and fifty seven seconds. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, let's go hide. Take a look what we got. A one star fixer. What? But I didn't play today. Basically what I did today is I jumped into my private world, started doing the daily op, for some reason the signal thing bugged out so I joined the, the public world, but I didn't do it, like I didn't complete it, I just left because I couldn't make the receiver work and now I don't get a no reward. <laughs> wow. Let me check if I got any plans in my stash. <laughs> this is weird. What the hell? Nope. I've been getting a whole bunch of these borrow signs and neon signs. Huh. Also the gutter. <sighs> oh well. 
this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you want your comments to be read, feel free to post your negative, positive feedback, whichever. Uh, just don't swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. And uh, once again, thanks all for watching this video. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at, and I'll see you in the next one. All useful links are down in the video description, including uh, the link to our Discord, where we talk about Fall 76 and other games, and uh, Twitch, where I do the live streams when I can, and other links that you may find of use. Catch you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future.